What's up, how you doing? Here we are, beautiful day today. Beautiful day, very, uh, very nice atmosphere. Feels good. So I am back. I was up in Alaska for a bit, just got back. And uh, before I ended up in Alaska, which I will talk about in another video, but beautiful place. Um, I ended up making a stop in Hope, Hope, British Columbia. And uh, I'm a big fan of that town, very beautiful. Got the mountains surrounding the town. But I went there because of First Blood. And I was there in 2007, the last time. So I ended up going again uh, with my entire family. Um, and I made a video. I went to the, the you know locations of where the uh, movie was uh, shot. Good tea. So anyway, uh, at the beginning at the beginning of the video, I, I said that this is the spot where Teasel first approaches Rambo, and that's not accurate. Um, in 2007, I was actually on the spot where Teasel first approached Rambo, but this time I was about a hundred feet further down so when you see the video there's a chevron station behind me which is the same chevron station that was in first blood but i'm actually 100 feet further down the road than where rambo and teasel were so just use your imagination picture me further up just to correct that uh, and then a couple of things i want to mention so i wanted to go and actually see the truck you know the truck where rambo finds a tarp See that opening, uh, that's, that's not the opening, but the scene where Teasel chases him, Rambo gets away, and then he ends up at the top there where that truck, uh, that broken down truck is, and then he looks around, he's kind of chilly, and then he finds a tarp, cuts out the opening, puts it on, ties it up. I wanted to go there badly, and I know where that location is, but I ran out of time. So I got to a certain point, I got to the point where uh, Teasel's uh, uh, LTD there, police cruiser, falls down the, the uh, side of that little hill and ends up where the rocks are on its top. And then Teasel starts yelling to Rambo, you're done, you're finished, you're, you've gone as far as you're going to go. Well, I made it to that part, but a little bit further down from that part is where that truck is. It's still there, but... I just ran out of time, so next time I, I have to go up there. Now when you look at that spot, you're like, how is it possible that Teasel was even driving in that area for his car to slide down? Well, there used to be a road there up top, and that, that, that was a loggers road, it doesn't exist anymore, so trees have grown in there in the past 40 plus years. But originally there was a road, so when he went out to the edge, the car went down. It's not there anymore. Now there's a trail. So that, what else did I want to mention there? Uh, so I found the uh, Welcome to Holiday Land. I found that sign. Uh, oh, the other thing, I, I could not go to the cliff where, where uh, Rambo jumps off and hits the, the tree below. Apparently there was a flood. Um, a while ago, I don't know when the flood happened, but so they closed down that area in order to do some repairs. And I was looking at the website that said that that area was supposed to open up July 1st. Now I was there way past July 1st and it wasn't opened yet. So I asked around, they go, yeah, they, they're still working on it. I did drive in that area though. I went as far as I could. And then I ended up in an area where the uh, construction workers were still working there. So... I, I shot a little video there and then I turned around and I I went by the river uh, and then one by one those guys were leaving but I couldn't go back in but I have been there in 2007 I, I made a video if you want you can check it out it's on this channel um, there's a lot of bears in that area so you kind of have to you know be careful although you know they hear you come and they try and get away but uh, oh, I, I found the mine the the mine where uh, that F troop 
the uh, reserves there. They shoot the uh, the anti-tank missile there into the mine. I found that it's obviously it's dismantled now. I mean that was a facade. It wasn't actually a, a cave there. Uh, the interior shots were shot somewhere else, but uh, the opening where you see they had made that. But I found that location, that log where they're hiding behind, that's still there. And then right next to that is where uh, uh, Rambo gets the hog. And interesting story about the hog, I didn't, I mean, maybe I knew about it, but, you know, years ago, but I had forgotten. I don't think I knew about it, though. But that hog uh, was uh, hired. I guess they contacted some local farmer and they said we need a hog for a scene and so he puts it in his pickup truck he's on the highway in British Columbia but there's a traffic jam so he's doing like 20 miles an hour and the hog from the back decides it's gonna jump out jumps out and starts going down the freeway and they're chasing it so eventually they caught it put it back in and then they uh, they shot the scene because there's no there wasn't back then, I don't know now, if uh, the hogs invaded, but there are no wild boars <clears throat> in that area. So they paid this guy 500 bucks, which they they said in the, uh, the article that 500 bucks was a lot of money back then for such a small part in a movie. Uh, and then the, the hog was not harmed, so they did the scene with the stuntman jumping down and then uh, the director, Kochkov, is that his name? I met him actually. I met him, I actually saw a movie with him uh, at the uh, Silent Theater, we talked. Very nice guy. Uh, but he wanted to do a, a take two. And the owner of the hog said that these animals are so intelligent that if you did the same thing and he expected it, you know, the, the stuntman jumping on top and everything, he would attack. So they decided they were going to use the first take on that. So I went all around. I went to the railroad tracks where uh, Rambo's trying to escape. He's got the motorcycle, jumps over the tracks. Went to that spot. I went to the spot where Teasel breaks through that fence when he's chasing Rambo. Rambo jumps over and Teasel goes through the fence. It's a wooden fence, breaks it, or a gate, actually. I went to that spot. Now it's all metal. It's iron. And then I actually located the spot where um, Rambo, at the beginning of the movie, the opening scene, locates uh, the uh, area where um, his buddy there, Delmore, Delmore Barry, talks to the widow. Uh, you kind of have to guess that that's the widow. I mean, nobody says, hey, that's the widow. She doesn't say that's my husband or anything. You know, she may be the neighbor or she may be his wife but right now I believe that was his wife uh, but there's no indication it could have been anybody it could have been the maid it could have been somebody who uh, lives in the neighborhood or you know takes care of people in that uh, area with her daughter but anyway I found that location it does not look that way anymore very unkept um, private property I couldn't go in I didn't want to trespass and I didn't see anybody who I could have asked, hey, can I go on there and shoot a little video? I'm sure if I had seen somebody, they would have allowed me. Very nice people in that area. But I saw no one, so I couldn't just, you know, help myself. Then I went to the area where uh, they set up camp. Get that tent there, they're trying to talk to Rambo, and, uh, you know, they, they ask uh, Trotman, Colonel Trotman if he's willing to talk to Rambo over the walkie-talkie there and see if they can, you know, trick him into giving away his location and Trotman's like, that's, that's not going to be a trick. If he talks, he's going to talk because he wants to talk. What do you say? It's like bringing the, the pigeons to the cat or something. So I went to that spot, beautiful spot, that is amazing. And, uh, and then, you know, they have a few, uh, the bridge is gone. Very disappointing to me. I went to the bridge, brand new bridge. The only thing you see are the columns. There's a column there from the previous bridge. They could have kept that bridge because this bridge is over. It's not, a, not on the same uh, spot where the old one was. It's a bit over. They could have kept the other one like a uh, tourist attraction. 
but instead they put up some uh, wood carving statues of uh, Teasel and, and John Rambo. So, you know, I mean, obviously you go through there, you know that the movie was shot there. Um, so, what? Yeah. Okay, did you get it? All right, I am back. Uh, had to open up the front door. Chicken wings tonight. I'm kind of craving chicken wings. I want something hearty, so I'm a bit hungry and uh, chicken wings. So I had to go inside and give the guy the, the pin number, as he says. So anyway, I'm back. So anyway, too many anyways in there, but anyway. Um, what else do I want to mention? Where was I before I was interrupted? Anyway, I will say that there's a movie theater in that town. It's been there for like 45 years, maybe more, right? And they're showing Rambo one more time in that theater at the end of July. I wish I was there to see it. I would go definitely go and see that. It's kind of ironic, right? Um, then I went into the gift shop. There's a gift shop there. I bought some t-shirts. They actually sell the bridge. There's a guy that, I guess he bought him or he took him. I don't know how he did it, but he ended up getting a bunch of the uh, the logs or maybe all the logs that make up the bridge. And he cut them into little tiny pieces and he sells them in little glass uh, bottles with a cork on top. So I, I got that. I got a t-shirt. I got a mug. Got some dog tags. As I'm not going to wear them around, you know, like... You know, but anyway, I got some, you know, memories. And then what else? I talked to the guy in there. We talked a little bit about, but the guy was young. I don't even think he was around when the movie first came out. What else uh, happened there? Obviously, the police department is not there because that was a, a fake, you know, exterior. I, I went into the drugstore there, bought a few items kind of expensive but you know that's the world we're living in that road where Teasel is chasing Rambo I went on that road um, there's a rock quarry there so every so often you hit dynamite going off you know I was like what is that gun I thought people were trying to warn me get out of here but it's actually a rock quarry I discovered uh, so you know but like I said in terms of scenery it's beautiful now I'm there it was summertime winter time is nice I mean it's everything's got the snow on it but very very beautiful so here's a funny thing I'm just gonna mention so when I was looking for the cave uh, the mine I ran into two guys uh, from Scotland I was on the way down, I couldn't find it, I was like, where is this place, you know, I kept going around and eventually I found it, but uh, they looked at me and kind of like they wanted a, you know, small talk, how you doing type thing, and I said, hey, how you doing, and they said good, and then I, I said, hey, uh, you know where the uh, mine is, I thought that was universal knowledge, right, and he's like, gave me a look, he's like, mine, with his Scottish accent, which I am not going to do right now. And I said, yeah, there's a mine up here. And the guy says to me, I've been living in this area for 30 years. I've never heard that before, he said to me. And then I'm thinking, okay. So they took, they left. He kind of like almost gave me a little giggle, like I didn't know what I was talking about. So I continued to search, and then I eventually found it. And then when I came down, I go, yeah, those guys are gone. I wasn't even thinking of them. And I wanted to go down further on the other side because on the other side is where um, where they they have that scene where the um, the National Guard, you know, that scene where they're walking and the, the where the water is and Rambo kind of sticks his head up on the rock and looks. That scene, I went there. I wanted to go there. So in order to go there, I had to go down to the next level. And here they are again. The two guys are coming towards me, and I said, "Oh, I found it." And the guy goes, really? I go, yeah. I go, you know, I go, the, the mine is in a movie. It's not a real mine, I said. And he's like, yeah, what movie is that? And I said, First Blood, Rambo. He's like, never heard of it. He goes, I never, I've never seen that. 
And I go, you've never, you've been living here 30 years and you've never heard of First Blood? You've never, ever heard? I mean, it's hard to believe. So he asked me again what the name was. I go, First Blood. He goes, Sylvester so Stallone. He's like, he goes, you know what? He goes, I want to go home tonight and look it up. Check it out. I go, well, okay, you check it out. But there's a mine scene where they, they, they do an anti-tank missile towards him. That was shot up here, I go. You'll you'll notice. Yeah, because the guy was kind of like, I don't know, he was kind of being kind of like uh, giggly with me. Like, Haha, I've been here 30 years. I've never heard of anything like that, you know. So I want to tell him, pay attention. Maybe you'd hear things. And then another funny thing. So the place where the, the truck is, the one where he finds the tarp, is is known as the junkyard, okay? So if you're a local in that area, and I'm talking about within, you know, a mile or so of that area, you would know the second somebody says, you know, the junkyard, you would say, oh yeah, I know what that is. So I'm about, I don't know, quarter mile from the area that you go into to find this place, right? And there's some park area there. Is that? That was weird. So there's some park area there that you can go into and take a little hike on the other side. And I pull in there, I'm looking around, I go, it doesn't look like it's here. You know, you gotta really know your, now I know where everything is, so I don't need any, any assistance. And I didn't get any from them, but, so I go in there and there's two rangers. Young guys, they look like they were about mid-twenties. But, you know, they were very, very friendly. So I had my window down and I said, uh, hey, uh, excuse me. And he goes, yeah. They came over to the window, and I said, hey, can you tell me where the junkyard is? And they go, junkyard? And he goes, he goes, you know what? I've been here for years. I've never heard of a junkyard in this area. I go, well, I think it's not a junkyard anymore, but it used to be in the past. I explained to him the whole thing, and he's like, no, I never heard of that. So it took me another half hour or so before I actually found the area where this was. Down the street down the street yeah you have to hike in because you know it's not on the road but once I got there and I found it I go how is it that these guys did not know about the junkyard I don't know like if I live somewhere or I work somewhere and there was a famous uh, movie that was made and in that movie there was I don't know a junkyard what's going on in there I would, uh, I would know that information. So, hold on, I'm gonna check out somebody. All right, I am back. My daughters playing with each other. You know, I heard like, uh, it sounded like uh, screaming, they're chasing each other. I go, what's going on? They go, we're playing. I go, put some uh, glasses of water so we could eat some chicken wings. So anyway. That's it. Very surprised that, uh, you know, people that work there for years, they don't know these places exist. But I'll tell you this right now, the area where you go to get to the truck and to get to the area where Teasel's uh, police car flips on its side there on top, uh, is a very beautiful location. Very thick uh, vegetation. Trees are like really thick next to each other but extremely beautiful, nice smelling, There's a lot of uh, those uh, little flies that they get on your nerves. So that's what we did, and I'm trying to think of anything else that I... Well, you'll see the video right after this clip, so you'll know what I'm talking about. Got a fireman's axe here. I find... Uh, this is very useful, very useful to have in your car. You never know, you, you know, you might need to break out of some place. You might need to, you know, help somebody who's uh, jammed up, has the pointy part here. You can break through walls with this, but Fireman's Axe, very important. I have this one, I have a, a big one too. This is a smaller one, carry around. And, uh while in Alaska, which I will speak about in the next uh, video, I was blown away 
the beauty up there amazing uh, got some axes got an axe up there small one nothing big just as a souvenir but yeah it's been a you know a dream of ours to uh, get to Alaska and we finally did it a um, lot of salmon good tasting fish order some salmon in Alaska very very delicious so anyway uh, here comes the uh, Hope video the Rambo uh, the first blood locations so check it out hope you like it what's up how you doing here we are beautiful day today so we're in the spot where in the movie First Blood, Sheriff Teasel encounters John Rambo. This is where it takes place. This is where he asks him, you know, basically, what are you doing here? He says, yeah, you visiting someone? He says, no. Asks him, where are you heading? And uh, this is the beginning of that. This is where he harasses him. And he says, wearing the flag like that, looking the way you're looking, you're asking for trouble here. So then he hops in, he gives him a ride. And he says, uh, is there a place I could eat around here? And he says, yeah, there's a diner about 30 miles up the highway, up the road or whatever. He says, is there a law against me getting something to eat here? And he says, yeah, me. Harassment all the way. Just leave him alone. Let him do his little walk around here. He just tried to find a friend of his that he found out just died or died a year in the summertime. And now you're harassing him. Here comes the lumber truck. Right there. So a similar thing like that happened to me. I was looking for a friend for a very long time. And I said this in another video, but I finally, because uh, of the advancement of the internet, I was able to locate his, uh, his home. And uh, I sent an email, and I got a response a few days later telling me that he, uh, he wasn't around anymore. And to me, I realized that he, he had passed on, he had died. And they, they said, who are you? And I said, I'm a friend uh, from a very long time ago. Anyway, that's how it goes. Uh, but anyway, that's where that, uh, all that stuff happens. It begins here in this spot. If you left them alone, there wouldn't have been a movie though, right? So, this is the bridge where Rambo gets dropped off. Actually, he got dropped off on the other side. It's re the reverse of reality. So, Hope is actually down that way. But they, they bring him from that side for some reason. They drop him off. And so, when Rambo starts to head back after Teasel drops him off, he's actually leaving Hope and not going towards it. So, if Teasel just left him alone, he would end up in another town. But anyway, I was here in 2007 when the old bridge was actually here, the old bridge, the one that Rambo actually, actually, actually crossed over. I know a lot of actually, but... So a few years ago, they tore that one down, despite the fact that a lot of people wrote letters encouraging City Hall to keep it, because it's a, it's a big tourist attraction. But the morons took it down. I know morons, but, you know, that's a big attraction. That's good money for the city. They took it down. They replaced it with this. This doesn't have the, uh, you know, I'll show you down there. There's a picture of the old one. But uh, I'm very disappointed that they took it down. Anyway, take a look behind me. So Hope is actually back that way. And if the movie was accurate, Teasel would have dropped Rambo off right here. The bridge is over here. But instead, 
he comes from that way. And maybe they thought the cinematography was a lot better from that side, which I will show you in a second. I don't think there's much of a difference. But that's the side he drops him off, and then Rambo goes back that way. And uh, he's leaving the town, so Teasel should not be upset, right? Anyway, let's go on that side. So this is the uh, the other side of the bridge. That's where he drops him off. And uh, moments later, because he knows he's been harassed wrongfully, he turns back around and heads that way where Teasel looks in his mirror, side mirror there, and notices, does like a double take thing, and then spins around and says to him, where the hell do you think you're going? Well, he's free to go wherever he wants. You know, why are you bothering him, right? So anyway, this is the spot, which, like I said earlier, uh, if he allowed him to go and keep walking that way, it would be leaving the town of Hope. Going to Hope is that way. Capiche? What's up? Here I am with my daughter Isabella. Hi. And the last time I was here was 2007. She did not exist. We had no idea about her because we hadn't made her yet. And now we made her and many years have passed and here we are together. The bridge, the original bridge, is uh, Mama's boy going home to kiss his mama on the cheek. Anytime they have uh, that kind of sound, big mama's boy trying to compensate. So anyway, um, the original bridge is gone. They replaced it with this ridiculous thing, but it, this is the same spot. So, grown up, I don't know where the time goes. I have no idea. All right. <laughs> That's the uh, the new bridge now. Beautiful scenery here, beautiful river, and uh, there's a there's a foundational uh, spot there of the old bridge. I will shoot a little video there and show you. Anyway, very hot today. The last time I came, 2007, chilly, chilly. That's the sign, gateway to holiday land. That's how he enters into hope. It's still around. So in here, is the area of the forest where they shot uh, the uh, scene where Rambo is uh, being hunted down by the uh, sheriff's department. I don't know how you get in here. I don't know how you move around. Vegetation is thick. I mean, I, I, I could and come out the other side full of poison ivy, poison sumac, poison oak. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, it is, it is, uh, it looks like wintertime in the movie, so maybe it's not as bad, but right now, 
It's very thick, beautiful place though. It smells great. So if I, if I escaped into this area here, with the vegetation being as thick as it is, and I had, I don't know, a half hour head start, nobody would find me in here. I would escape and disappear. I don't care how many police officers you sent in here, bloodhounds, German shepherds, Dovermans, doesn't matter. I would vanish. I don't know how they found Rambo. This is a guy that's trained in all kind of guerrilla warfare, and he couldn't escape in this kind of stuff. I mean, just, you know, they're following you this way. Don't keep going in a straight line. Did you see what happened to him? He ended up falling off or jumping off a cliff. I wouldn't have done that. I would have uh, done a, a left. They wouldn't have found me. Not in, this, not in this kind of an environment. I would have been all the way on the other side of the country. I would have been in Maine by the time, you know, they were, like, calling off the search. I wanted to go to the place where I went last time where... You could see the, the cliff that he jumped off of and landed on the tree below. But they have informed me, informed me that uh, the place is closed due to flooding, flood damage. So we're as close as uh, possible. It's on the other side of here. I went all the way to the end, but uh, closed, says closed. So I can't, can't jump over considering there are people there right now. And I'm with my wife. My wife would be complaining. You know, where you going, where you doing, things like that. But anyway, uh, this is where it all happened in here. Beautiful place. I'm a big fan of uh, hope. Not hope of deliverance. Hope of deliverance by Paul McCartney, I did not like. Did not like that. But flowers in the dirt that came before, I loved. My Brave Face, good tune. Very, very nice air in here. Delicious. All right, I move on. So these are the tracks in the movie First Blood. Rambo takes that guy's motorcycle downtown there when he's escaping uh, the police department and uh, takes the bike and starts leaving. Galt tries to shoot at him, what a moron. Uh, anyway, there's a crowd of people there he's shooting, a rifle. So Teasel pushes it back, says there are people down there. And Galt looks annoyed with that. I'm telling you, they picked the right guy to play that role. He had that face. You know that face? Anyway, so takes the bike, comes here, jumps over these tracks, which is really hard to do because they're not that steep. And uh, mama's boy going home. Going home, visit his mother, get a little kiss on the cheek. Anyway, in the movie, if you notice, uh, really close there, you see a little ramp. Hits the ramp, jumps over hot today but right now it's coming down a bit got the breeze going a lot of beautiful mountains here anyway this is the spot where he jumped but there was a ramp a little ramp and I don't think that was Stallone Stallone would have had uh, skid marks in his underwear no pun intended uh, really windy
what's up here we are this is the intersection where Rambo runs out of the police department over here which doesn't exist that was uh, that was a fake building for the uh, movie runs down the stairs goes over here looks left and right grabs the guy off the motorcycle throws him to the ground grabs the bike takes off and then Galt comes down with his uh, shotgun there his rifle goes to shoot and uh, Teasel says hey there's people down there but this is where it happened and you can see the buildings are still similar looking especially the one behind me here and we know this is the place because uh, the light there's no other light not down there not down there so this is the spot and the police department like I said was right here I'll turn the camera around but this building was here and then in front of it they built the uh, facade for the police department and then later on he comes here and shoots it up but very uh, very interesting yeah, beautiful town beautiful town hot today but not bad I mean it was hot but it was uh, enjoyable you know so on this spot behind me this is where they had that uh, sheriff's department right here it was a you know a fake building facade only in the front John Rambo runs down the stairs here and then grabs the guy right here on the street off the motorcycle pulls him down does a couple of moves side to side grabs him grabs the bike and then goes down that street over here so uh, looks basically basically the same Teasel harassed uh, John Rambo. It's unnecessary. Leave the guy alone. Just found out his friend died, you know? Leave him alone. Let him get a bite to eat. So many places in here to eat. He told him there's a diner about 30 miles up the road. Look how many places there are here? Even a McDonald's on the other side. You want to talk about irony? Movie theater over here is playing First Blood. John Jay. John Jay. So this is the only theater in town. It's showing first blood here. And uh, opened up in 1945. This is the last showing of first blood. So on Friday, July 26th, 7.30, they're showing first blood for the final time here in this theater that opened up in 1945. What's up? So, <clears throat> I think, I think this is the uh, spot where the movie First Blood, that mine where Rambo goes in and those guys are shooting from here, uh, National Guard, whatever they were, F Troop, they were shooting from this log. Now I don't, I don't see, uh, I was expecting to see more of the outer edges of the mine but uh i don't know maybe they took it down but i think it's right behind me that's where it was in the movie 
and on that side or on this side over here is where uh, Rambo kills that uh, boar wild boar that's what I think it looks uh, if according to my directions I am correct this is the spot So this is the area where Rambo kills that wild boar and then lights a fire to cook it where anybody could pick that up. Maybe not that sheriff's department but something more advanced would have picked up that, uh, that heat signal. What's up? Here we are. This is the spot where in the movie First Blood you see the National Guard looking for Rambo. That's where it's shot. You can see the rock. It's a bit grassy now, but you know, in the movie I guess maybe they cleaned it off or maybe back then there was no moss on it. The water's a little bit lower now because it's summer, but in the winter time when they shot that scene, uh, it was pretty full here. Right behind me. So that's the back side. In the movie it makes it look like it's a big open area, but uh, this place is closed off, so you can't really get out of here unless you come up the, uh, the side here on the stairs. But they have a scene where Rambo sticks his head up and sees them. That scene I don't think was shot here. I think it's either further back that way because there's no side where you can do that here. 200 men against one. Good supply of body bags. All right, so this is the spot where um, the helicopter comes in and the sheriff and whoever else uh, has jurisdiction has their camp set up there with the uh, tent. They have all their equipment there and that's where they radio Rambo when, when Trotman gets in, Colonel. And uh, he says, uh, he's not gonna break radio silence for you. He goes, oh, not for us, but maybe for you. Hey, you trained him. Anyway, uh, he does break radio silence. Uh, that's where it takes place. And so Rambo is up that mountain there behind me, hiding out, cooking wild boar with a fire. Beautiful place here. I can't tell you how beautiful it is. You have to come here and witness it for yourself. Just amazing. But unlike the movie First Blood, it's very hot here. I know because that one they shot in November, December. Now it's July. Very hot. And I need water.
What's up? How you doing? Right behind me is uh, <clears throat> that's the location where Rambo is being chased by Teasel, and Rambo jumps over into that marshy area with his motorcycle. Teasel keeps going and breaks through this fence here, which was wooden at the time. Now it's metal. Well, this is the spot. Oh, check it out. What's up? Here we are. I finally found the location. This is the spot where Rambo comes up here with his motorcycle and loses it over here. And then you see him running up this way and Teasel, Sheriff Teasel, pay him the respect, you know. Uh, Sheriff Teasel comes sliding down there with his car and flips over and then he gets out and he starts yelling, you're finished, you're done. You've gone as far as you're gonna go. So and Rambo keeps going up that way. Very beautiful in here. And a little bit difficult to get into, but here we are. And, and I'll show you down there the rock where uh, you see in the movie, but I wanna flip it around. A bit slippery here. I don't know, Rambo climbing up there with snow tires. All right, I'm out of time. So this is the spot where Rambo uh, drops the bike off on these rocks and starts climbing up and Teasel, Teasel drops the, the Ford Cruiser back here and he starts yelling, you're finished, you're, you've gone as far as you're gonna go. What I'm annoyed about is that I'm out of time and uh, right up that way going straight up where those trees are behind me right there at the top is where that uh that abandoned 18 wheeler is you know the scene where he finds that tarp and cuts a hole open with his uh, knife and wears it and then gets the wire or whatever and ties it up that's where that is i'm so close but and these flies are annoying me but i'm out of time i gotta get back we have reservations and uh, I'm not gonna be able to go and see this place. I'll say next time, but I'm so close. I'm like literally 20 minutes away from it right there. Now 20 minutes, okay, whatever, but then 20 going, 20 coming, and then another half hour update, a videotape, look around. 
So I need about, you know, hour and a half, two hours, and I don't have that kind of time. So I'm gonna have to stop here. So this is where it all happened. This is where the chase on foot began. It's beautiful in here, very densely uh, populated with trees and shrubs and fern. Just a furly. Sorry. Sorry. Am I saying sorry in an accident or is it not the word? Sorry. 